Taking a live look over downtown Grand Rapids right now, where we are continuing to see warmer than normal temperatures. Yeah, Storm Team A meteorologist Sarah Flynn joining us now with more on this. Sarah. Yeah, so far this winter has been relatively mild. The official start of winter, December 21st, but the way things are trending, not a whole lot of change in store. It is an El Nino winter, which typically means that the Midwest and really the northern half of the country sees drier than normal conditions, with the southern half seeing wetter than normal. Contrary, we start to see warmer than normal temperatures in the northern half as well and cooler down to the south. That's a pattern that we've seen here in West Michigan for the last couple of weeks. Our average December high temperature 42 degrees, which is a few degrees above normal. But taking a look at the last 13 days, of course, not including today just yet, 12 of those 13 days had above normal highs, and low temperatures really haven't been that cool at all. With snow, we've been dry as well, two inches so far this season. That is 13.7 inches below normal from where we should be at this point in December. We've seen slightly higher totals towards the lakeshore, particularly in Muskegon, but overall, it's been a pretty dry stretch. Something that is expected to continue. So I took a look back at the most recent El Nino winters, the most recent one, 2018 to 2019. We actually did pick up just over 80 inches of snow, which is a little bit above normal. But back in 2015 to 2016, we saw 16 inches below normal, below normal in 2009 to 2010. The overall trend is near or below normal snowfall when all is said and done. And with temperatures trending on the warmer side for the next couple of weeks here and likely staying dry, not sure if we're going to pick up a whole lot of snow as we head throughout the month of December. We do, however, have a rain chance coming up this weekend. I'll have another look at that system in just a few minutes.